guys, Nikki Novak here for Young Hollywood at San Diego Comic Con in the Nickelodeon suite with the Grimster. Yeah. Yeah. How do you do? <laughs> you guys could be like a band at this point. We, you we are a band. We could be a band with like a horn section or so. Are you the horn section? I'll be the horn All section. Right. David All right. David will be the horn section. <laughs> you come with sound effects. We got the rhythm section over here. We're in Nickel Costa Dive. Oh, I know you can sing. <laughs> I, know. I know you can sing. The last time, I think I, I think last year we were here, but we didn't see you. And the last time you were in the Young Hollywood studio, he, I don't know if you guys know this, but he recited the entire Courage, you know, speech Wizard from of Wizard of Oz. Yeah. You're like, yeah, we heard it all. We know. Yeah. <laughs> What's your latest? Uh, Hamilton. Oh, yeah. It's oh. like a hip hop rap version of the story of Alexander Hamilton. I just want to make sure we can hear you. Can we hear him? Yeah, you can. Oh, hear him. Three mics. Just <laughs> of course you can hear me. Take that mic. Take that mic. Yes. I, hope that was of course. I went to theater school, <laughs> damn it. Anyway, in the spirit of uh, courage, I wanted to ask you guys what's the most courageous thing you've had to do on the set of Grimm? Oh. Well, there was a zombie apocalypse. I don't know if you remember that, but uh, we were on the containers, and I, and Roberto Barba, one of our showrunners, main directors, he's like, "Yeah, Brie, you're gonna have to just, you know, you want to look really real. So I want you to climb up, you know, the seven foot high container, and then get on a ladder, and then." jump over maybe three and a half feet, but we can't have wires because we want to be really real. And he's like, you can do that, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can totally do that. I'm totally Until you get up there. And I got up there, and the second this, this my stunt girl let go of my hand, I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god. And then actually, like, barely made it into the show. And I'm like, Bert, I risked my life for Your you. major moment. Anybody, Anybody else? else? It was great. Anybody else? I had to hang off. I had to hang off like a, a, an apartment building that the fire escape of like a I don't know a five story apartment oh, building. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it was fun though. It felt like it felt like zip lining. Oh, oh nice. I, I was like on a wire. So you enjoyed like, it. Like season I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know the word everybody's using is vengeance for the next season. How do you guys think it's going to be a fresh take on the show this next season? Oh, almost everything. Vengeance. Fresh. Well, okay, so my <laughs> mom. I, the, okay. And the first, thank you. Uh, the first scene of season five. Like my mother's head has been taken away, my dead girlfriend's been swept away. So just a and light my day, only you know? like kind of like sister protege is kidnapped. So it's bad, bad place, bad start, you know. Um, but you so, still got your health. But I got my health. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, Things are good. Things are light. <laughs> it's a dark place. Yep, yeah, everybody, everybody's Burke saying the show is going to be completely different. Like from this point on, it's not going to be the it same. Is, it is getting, it is getting. Yeah, we were talking about a reboot as like a, a good description of what's happening. But we are kind of harking back to that, like season one and, and and stories about the keys and the coins and and a lot of the darkness that we saw in season one is coming back. Even stylistically, we're, it's going to get a, a darker sort of tint to the whole thing. I saw David on your Twitter. You were talking about like I think like consumerism and how like people try to sell you. Oh things. my gosh! Did I get political? No, you just said that, you know, of all the things it? people try to sell you, the earplug is the most, provides the most contentment oh, yeah. for you. How so, and what for the rest of you provides an enormous amount of contentment as, Did as you say earplugs ear do? Plug? The earplug ear is provided. I said yes. everything promises contentment, the earplug is delivered on that front. Um, <laughs> well, honestly, that came from, because we shoot a lot of nights and like circadian rhythms are just gone, kind of thrown to the wind, and and uh, I, earplugs have saved me. Like, do that, put on a... Yeah, I'm asking. And you know what makes the, you know what make the best earplugs? Bunt cheeks. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it. What? Never mind. <laughs> no, I think uh, we were just saying that walking over here, like we uh, we feel good, you know, and we just are lucky. We're lucky and we're happy, yeah. and we live in a great city and get to do what we. Love. And as and old as we are to still be accepted on Young Hollywood. Yeah. And we're sitting in this couch. <laughs> Thank you, Young Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, we don't want you here winning. Yeah. Scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to go down the line. How big a nerd are you since we are at Comic Con? Oh, boy. I, How big I, a nerd I, are you? I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to say about a 6. About a 6, okay. Yeah. Okay. Not I, too much. I'm pretty nerdy. I mean, I have a copy of Moby Dick in my backpack, <laughs> so I'm pretty nerdy. <laughs> yeah, I'm nerdy, but probably not in the Comic Con way. But yes, I'm not, I can't find my way through society. Okay. Yeah. That's he's why just you need earplugs. Misfit. He's yeah. not nerdy, he's just a misfit. <laughs> I'm about three. <laughs> mm. You're just cool. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not nerdy. Not at all. No, I don't think Zero. So. You're a <laughs> schmuck. Come on. <laughs> when I was 16, I played Dungeons and Dragons, so it kind of ele like it averages out. Of the, of the cast, who would be best at stand-up? Hmm. Wait, say so what? Of the cast, who would be best at doing stand-up? 
I think G and Tolly. Yeah, it's David. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would say it to you. Again, if you like your herring. <laughs> Oh my Harry gosh. Comedy. That's your, isn't that your stand up comic name? It's, it's Pickled Harry. Exactly. <laughs> Tonight, Pickled Harry. Yeah, actually. Like, Mainlining. Yeah, I yeah. uh, Who would be the best rapper? I mean, oh. oh, come on. He's so good. He's at just it. a leader. It's he really, that was really my way of getting you to rap. It's one of those things you just like, I just. You want to go for it? Vibe. Yeah, I want to hear it. You're going to chop it, man. Well, no, I just talk about me being the swashbuckling hero, the man, the myth, the legend, the one that put the hump in the camel's back. I'm the lamb cracker, the ass smacker. <laughs> the baby maker, the cradle shaker. Good God Almighty, ain't you glad I'm on your team? <laughs> He's gone. really committed. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. He's on the wow. Table. <laughs> no, there's a buffet table outside. He's been asleep for 30 minutes. Was it something I said? Um, okay. Um, question answered. Okay. Um, who had, of you, had the best summer vacation? Oh boy. Ooh. That's come I on, you went vacation. you went places. I went some places. You went places. Yeah. Where did you go? Amsterdam, Barcelona, Iceland. Yeah. In that order? In that order. Wow, you started yeah, out in no, Amsterdam. No, no. It was good. And then, <laughs> and then Sasha went to Iceland. Oh wow. I did. I had to clean up after him. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess! Da, 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 da. Yeah. I went to a Disney resort with my kids. Oh, Claire nice. had a baby. I had a kid. Yeah. Claire, you had a kid. Claire had a baby. So I think she just trumped you. Vacation. She just trumped you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might have had the best summer vacation. Wait, that's she created life. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah, Who is most likely to accidentally spoil a plot line? Probably me. No, actually not me. No, it wouldn't be me because I'm actually I'm really afraid of ruining the experience for people. Like I don't watch previews. We're, we're pretty good. We're pretty tight-lipped. Because we don't really know. Because we, we, really we don't really know. know. Good point, Claire. We don't really know. It's just so. because they don't tell you us. Can't ruin it. They really should. We're gonna get hey, ruined. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're in your head. Well, no, I had to, I had to, to drop the mic. You had to de- you know, no, it was, you, it you was drop the mic, you gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's but you missed us, right? So you I came like back. I like how you sold that. Oh, I love that. I said he's in Paso Robles by now, man. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, yeah. um, I know you signed somebody's thigh once here at Comic Con. I may have. Inner thigh. Um, I did it with my craziest, thigh. craziest fan encounter. So I was in Chicago and this woman stopped me, and she's like, "Oh my God, you're on my favorite show, Griff." <laughs> <laughs> Talking about oh professor. Gosh. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. On that note, um, <laughs> tune into Griff this fall. <laughs> They're all on it. They're fantastic. Thanks again, everybody. While we're still young, <laughs> thank you. Tune in. <laughs> thank you. We're still on Young Hollywood.